let's quickly look at the paging process in this uh, tutorial so let's write paging process so we're going to see how paging happens how mobile is paged so let's assume that a landline has called a mobile this is a mobile station let's say this is bts base trans Receiver station ESC SSC MSC PLR This is the gateway MSC Okay so let's draw these lines here for convenience of where we, how we can show protocol and the message is going to and fro. So let's draw the interfaces real quick between MS and BTS is the UM interface, BTS and BSC is the ABIS interface, BSC in the, and the MSC is A interface and this is the E interface. So incoming call uh, comes from the gateway MSC to the correct MSC the incoming call so this whole process happens this whole process happens where uh, gateway MSC uh, does an HLR inquiry HLR finds out where exactly is the mobile station located sends the MSRN number to the gateway uh, um, MSC, the gateway MSC routes the call to the MSC. So we're going to start this process from an incoming call to the MSC VLR uh, of the mobile. So we assume that this, in this location, in the location of MSC VLR, the mobile is roaming somewhere. So basically, the MSC VLR now looks at the LAI, the location area identity of the mobile and uh, sends a BSS base station subsystem mobile application part message to all the BSS's which is part of the location area um, identity and uh, BSS map paging message so it pages all the BSS's in the which is in the LAI now the message between MSC and VLR BSS uh, MAP paging is a, is a, a layer three message. That's a message. Uh, that's a protocol used between BSC and MSC to communicate with each other. Now BSC sends a base transceiver station management message paging command. Uh, just to review this. Uh, BSS map paging message contains the MC TIMC of the mobile and the cell identifier list. This BTS message and BSC sends to BTS contains the channel number on the UM interface and also the MC TIMC of the mobile. So once the BTS receives that message, the BC, BTS sends basically a paging request message to on the broad on the paging channel R I L three R R it's a paging request message to all the mobiles in the in this in this channel on the paging channel. Now here the mobile which is sitting here listens to that uh, paging channel compares that same that MC TMC and uh, uh, asks and wants to respond back but doesn't know how to respond because it does not have uh, a channel to respond so first it's going to ask for a channel so it sends a ril3 rr radio uh, radio uh, radio resource channel request message now this message as you all know is sent on the random access channel so it goes to the BTS the BTS from here sends a BTSM channel required message to the BSC right so BT 
SM channel required message to the BSC. The BSC says that okay, I mean, uh, you know, it sends back a channel activation message uh, in order to activate the radio channel. So it sends a channel activation message to the BTS here. BTS and channel activation message and then after that it sends a channel assignment message immediate assignment com message BTSM immediate assignment command to the to the BTS in between that the BTS you know does an acknowledgement of this message basically which is that I've got this message channel, channel activation that I want me to activate a second layer signaling channel between the MS and the BTS which is basically uh, going to be uh, uh, you know a standalone dedicated channel so better send that send that message to the BTS now the BTS let's move a little bit down where we have more room so let's see So the BTS basically sends uh, RIL3RR immediate assignment message to the MS on the access grant channel. The me this message has the channel number of the standalone dedicated channel that the mobile can now use to respond to paging. Uh, and can continue its conversation with the MSC VLR before uh, until the traffic channel is uh, assigned. So now this message has the address of or the information about the standalone dedicated channel that mobile can use. So what mobile does it is it it responds to the paging by sending a paging response message. It sends a paging response message on here right here on the standalone dedicated channel RIL3 paging response message on SD channel the BTS sends an acknowledgement of the paging response acknowledgement of the paging response back to the MS and now the BTS sends an establish indication message to the it's a BTSM message to the BSC BTSM establish indication message that the radio link has been established the layer to signaling uh, has been uh, has been established so it also transfers the paging response to the to the uh, MSC, and uh, now the you know the BSC sends a BSS map complete layer three message to the MSC, which says, and it, this also actually starts a SS, SCCP connection, the signaling. Uh, uh, com the signaling control connect signaling connection control part uh, signaling message so it, uh, it says starts up it says basically that hey MS is so MSC now tells the VLR that the MS is responding to the page so this is this basically the whole uh, scenario of paging how paging uh, happens uh, from an outbound uh, from a call which is coming from a landline so pretty much uh, the paging process of mobile thank you for listening to this tutorial